Wings of Fire is by no means a new series. In fact, this coming July will mark the 10th anniversary of the books, which have received both critical acclaim and numerous awards throughout the years, along with a special place in all our hearts. It's because of that place in all our hearts Wings of Fire has that the topic of this video is going to be a rather difficult one. Will the Wings of Fire series continue into the future? And if it does, what form will this take? Before we can really get into any discussion, I'd just like to clarify that Unless stated otherwise, the contents of this video are purely speculation. We don't really know for sure what the future will mean for this beloved series, and I'm merely trying to piece together a potential answer. That said, let's start off this video by looking at what we do know. We know that lots of Wings of Fire content is being worked on, so the series will continue for some time, whether in one form or another. However, this stuff takes the form of things like the upcoming guidebook, graphic novel adaptations, and the TV show. That's not to say that it isn't great that we're getting all this content. The guidebook will fill in many of the gaps in Pyrian history, elaborating on the events of the Scorching and other things shrouded in myth. There's a more than good chance that the graphic novels will run up all the way to book 15, and the TV show will no doubt be really exciting to see unfold. But these projects are neither really canon to Wings of Fire, nor are they the actual novels that we're so used to. It's also here where the reasons we likely won't see the sort of continuation for Wings of Fire in the future start to appear. For example, Tui has stated that she would like the series to finish before the TV show begins to air. Considering development on the Wings of Fire TV show has been common knowledge for well over two years, and it had probably been being worked on for quite a while before then, it's not exactly a stretch to assume that it won't be too long before we see a trailer. Tui has also, on multiple occasions, expressed interest in working on projects besides Wings of Fire after the conclusion of the first three story arcs, and when asked on whether there would be a fourth main story arc, or a book 16, she said that she simply doesn't know. Additionally, Book 15 would seem to be the natural climax and ending point for the series. You see, Wings of Fire was only supposed to last for one story arc, concluding with Book 5 in 2014. But Tui and Scholastic decided to keep it going, and by the time the second arc was finished, the groundwork for Arc 3 had already been set, whereas the first arc at least provided pretense for a second one, with the opening of Jade Mountain Academy and such, the ending of Book 15 doesn't really have any such features. All of this overwhelming evidence seems to point to this being the end for the main Wings of Fire story. After all, 10 years is a long time to spend working on the same project, churning out over a million words spread over 17 different books not even counting things like Winglets or any other Wings of Fire related projects that Tui's been involved in. It's a lot, and honestly, it makes a lot of sense that Tui might want to, in her own words, just take a break from writing Wings of Fire. But this isn't to say that the end of Wings of Fire is certain or imminent. For one, even if Tui has hinted at wanting to take a break from Wings of Fire before, she's never said outright, nor is there any reason to believe, that the series is ending now. In fact, I'm not sure if Scholastic would let her quit, considering how popular the series is and how much revenue it must be bringing in for them. And from a more storytelling perspective, there are so many loose ends which can still be tied, most of them left intentionally by Tui with the intent of building on them later. However, I think that the opposing evidence is just too strong to overlook, so yes, I do think Wings of Fire will be ending, but only the main series. Let me explain. While I think that the three arcs of the main story are over and done with, I think there is still potential for the series to continue in the form of actual novels. Only this time, these novels would be more Legends-type standalones than components of five-part story arcs. 
Tui has said before that she'd like to expand on the Legends line, with titles about the Tree Wars and other conflicts in Pyrian and possibly Pantalan history. Even though this old statement can't be taken as the complete and objective truth, it shows us that there is room for the Wings of Fire continuity to do just that. Continue. To wrap everything up, I do not think that this is the end for the Wings of Fire series. Beyond the projects we already know of, it's likely that Legends books and other independent titles will continue to be released for quite some time. However, I don't think that story arcs will continue to be the format for future content. In the same way, while it's certainly possible that books will be made to represent the events after The Flames of Hope, I don't think that there will be a dedicated Book 16, nor do I think that any of these Legends-type books or other spin-offs will really be releasing anytime soon. All good things must end sooner or later, and Wings of Fire is no exception. In fact, there are many who say that a crisp, defined end to the series would be better for the story, the readers, and let's not forget Tui herself, than slowly fading into irrelevance and dying an unmomentous death, like some people would say the Warrior series did. But what do you think? Be sure to let me know of your thoughts in the comments below. Please leave a like or dislike as feedback because it lets me know what you guys enjoy watching and don't, don't enjoy watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe for more Wings of Fire content, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.